Good morning, back from Dalian, China. Happy Chinese New Year. Yes, it's been a while since I put a video up. It's been a couple of weeks. I've been extremely, extremely busy trying to get ready for the Chinese New Year. It is uh, the American equivalent of Christmas here. Chinese New Year is based on the lunar calendar rather than the Gregorian calendar. So it's definitely not the same time of year. They do have New Year's here, but it's not as big a holiday here as the Chinese New Year. All right? But you didn't come here to, to uh, learn about Chinese New Year. You want to find out what I was down here. He, what is this down here? Eh? Yeah. Ah, yes. The Godox, my new toy. AD360N. Monolite. All right, this thing is awesome. Portable, a little heavy, but uh, well, for the kind of power you get, you need something this heavy. All right, I purchased this uh, last week from my friend, Xiao Jin Jin, and he is located in the Electronic City on Xi'an Lu in booth C614. Um, his main work there is to repair lighting and lenses and the lighting is not just limited to photography lighting i've seen them repairing what looks to be um, like dj lighting or stage lighting um, but still go and visit my friend xiao Zhen Zhen and let him know that raymond or photo monk sent you to come and see him all right so what comes in the box am i going to do an unboxing no i because when i get a new toy i want to play with it and I've played with it, so it's out of the box. All right, so what are we going to get? We're going to get the AD360 Mono Light. All right, it comes with a huge, huge xenon bulb. Do not t touch this bulb after you've been using it for a while. It will burn the crap out of your fingers. It is very, very hot. All right, you've got, you cannot accidentally tilt this. There's a locking button on the side. All right. You can mount this to any, right directly to your camera or any cold shoe light stand. And if you don't want to do that, there's also a screw mount here where you can screw it directly to the light stand itself. And this is really, really great for putting it into uh, an umbrella, you know, to where you can get better aiming at it instead of coming up here trying to figure out if you can get that light to come straight down into the middle of your umbrella. You know what I'm talking about if you used your uh, normal strobe lights like this you got you know boom that's it you put it on there and that's it you can no other way to mount it the only other option you have is maybe get you know one of the uh, the Boeing's mount uh, from uh, Godox or other makers and put your flash in the middle but then what happens as soon as you tilt it like this TTL is lost right now this is not a TTL flash this is uh, an older speed light I've got around TT560 by Newer. Um, not a bad speed light. I use it as a kicker light, really, you know, as an accent light, hair light, whatever you want to do, separator light, however you call it, it's the light itself. Um, but so what comes in the box? So like I said, it, first it, it's going to come with the unit itself, and it's going to come with the bulb. The bulb is actually not mounted because it can be replaced. Don't drop this bulb. It's going to cost you $90 or 7 times 9 to get uh, Rim and B. It's gonna, it, the bulb is expensive as can be, all right? You can actually, you know, three bulbs, you can buy a new flash. <laughs> really, it's an expensive bulb. But it's expensive for a reason. It puts out a huge, huge, huge amount of light. All right, so it comes with this in the box. It comes with the bulb in the box. Then it comes with... Yes, your lighting modifier, silver lining, all right? Now you just put it on your flash like this, push it in, turn it, lock it down. All right? 
where you can shoot it straight up. You're not going to get any forward spill or you can point it directly at your person. Now it's got a pretty good rotation, but even with rotation, all right, you still need to push this lock button. So it's got a pretty good rotation. I don't know the exact, I haven't read the manual completely yet. You know, most of us don't. We play with it until we can't figure it out. But I'm going to say 320 degrees, yeah, give or take, 340, not, not 360. It just barely stops shy of making it all the way around. So it comes with that. And then it's going to come with a diffuser. Well, comes with a ring, all right? That ring will come with two diffusers, all right? So you can decide how much diffusion you want to add. Now, if you order the accessories, which I have ordered all the accessories for this flash, they will be here on February 15th. <clears throat> I am not really good at Taobao, and so my friend Xiao Jin Jin, he orders everything I need for me because, well, Taobao is in Chinese, and even though you can use uh, you know, Google Chrome to translate Taobao, when you try to communicate with the salespeople, guess what? They say, speak Chinese, please. Uh, but anyhow, so you get this, and you can get the lighting gels in the accessory kit are the same size. All right? I'm good, actually going to have two of these lights. Um, I'm not a rich photographer. I'm a school teacher. And so I buy things when my budget allows. So I want two of these, and I also want the AD600. And when I get that one, I will let you know. But I ordered two of every accessory for this because I know I'm buying a second light. That's what I think about it. Um, I don't know what this thing costs in the U.S. in China. It is right around uh, 3,500 renminbi. Some places will have the price a little higher, some places a little lower. You just got to be a good negotiator. The art of negotiation is just as important as the art of learning Mandarin in China. They love to negotiate. The price is usually, not always, but usually negotiable. All right. So what else comes in the box? Well, it comes with the handy dandy manual. Have I read it? Nope. All right. Do I need to? Yes. There are a couple of settings on there I can't figure out. And yes, I need to get them set. All right. Then it comes with this really weird little mount. All right. This mount is kind of crazy because it's like, okay, well, I can see where I can screw it into my tripod, right, or into my lighting stand. But how do I connect my flash to it, all right? Well, there's four screws on the bottom of here. This base comes off. And evidently, there's some connections in there that must be quite easily to uh, handle because um, I have flipped through the manual and just looked at pictures. I haven't read it yet. Um, but it's got a little short circuit plate on here. So when it goes in, it shorts out or connects the uh, circuit so that the flash will work without the hot shoe. All right. um, really, this is a beast to put on top of your camera. So if you don't you know, or, you know, want to ever put this on your camera, maybe you could put it on this. But I already have lighting stands that have cold shoe mounts. So, you know... And the thing is, if I'm going to use an umbrella or any kind of modifier, I'm going to use this mount here on the side because that's much, much more secure. All right, and that gives me a better control of pointing my light directly in the middle of my modifier. And, you know, this, the uh, cold shoe adapters for your flashes kind of suck because every single one of them will point that light maybe, you know, 8 to 12 inches above center. Well, you want it center, all right? Well, this is going to put it much closer to the center when you mount it this way. Now, you can take this off and put it into a Boeing's mount system to where you can use it in your big soft boxes. Anyhow, so it comes with this, and then it comes with a standard lighting stand, but actually I've got it underneath the video monitor on my camera right now. So because I just got tired of putting a video monitor on top of my camera. All right, this one is for the Nikon. Uh, now, what else is in the box? Ah, power charger, I mean power adapter. Uh, 
look on here no oh wow there's nowhere to plug this in ah, because it doesn't plug into here this does not carry its own power internally it needs an external battery all right and it needs a powerhouse this is a uh, pro pack 960 pb 960 now this is just a control unit but it also comes in the box and in the box with it comes your battery I have been playing with this light for uh, you know a few days now. Um, not, trust me, nothing I want to show you yet. I will actually do a video when I take some of my photography students out when we have some beautiful skies. All right, then it comes with this, the power connector. This is what connects your battery to your flash. Now you have two ports here. Now I have ordered an adapter which takes both of these ports and converts them into one so you get a faster recycle time. All right, so it's got the uh, weather plugs to, to you know, keep it dry if you get caught out in the rain. This plugs in, and then it has a locking screw nut. All right, it's not going to come unplugged. All right. Then it plugs directly into, if you're looking at your, your display screen, it's going to plug in to the left of the display screen. It can only go in one way. You can't do this wrong. You see I'm not even looking at it. It goes in really, really easy. All right? And then when you power it on, all right, boom, you've got light. Or, you know, you've got power. All right? It also comes with a carrying strap. All right? The only thing I use this strap for is to hang it on the light stand because it's got a nice little strong, strong belt clip on there, and I always wear a belt. So I don't need all this extra stuff to mount it to my belt, but I have ordered the adapter to where I can use the belt clip to mount it to my lighting stand without this strap because I'm afraid it's gonna fall off. All right, um, now which is really, really great. Now, how, how can I use this on my camera? Well, that's very, very easy. It comes with a radio transmitter, I mean, I'm sorry, radio receiver inside, built in, automatic. It's already there, but no your camera is not going to send any decent signal to it. Yes, you can put it on slave mode and it's going to do the lighting slave thing. But yeah, you bought a flash like this, so you can just use it in standard slave mode, right? Yeah. All right, now, how do you control this? Well, you can do it with uh, any really, any, any uh, hot shoe mount transmitter receiver kits. And then, you, so it's a two-piece kit or you can get the Godox X1 receiver. Let me move this back here so it's in focus. All right, you can get the X1, uh, uh, I said receiver, but transmitter. So X1 transmitter, and it mounts right to your hot shoe on your camera, and then you can make all of the adjustments that you need. Here it is, all right? When you make any adjustments here, turn it on, all right? Every adjustment you make here, is going to happen live on the screen. All right? Now, if you first get this, you're going to have to push this little button right here and get it into TTL mode. All right? I've got this set on, on uh, channel 1, group A, or actually, uh, yeah, channel 1, group A, and same here. Now, this can control uh, five groups with up to 37 or 34 channels, I forget. And um, when it comes, in the, comes out of the box, it is set and it shows all five groups. And I will do a, big, um, a bigger um, video about how to get the most out of this, but you can switch it to where you only see the three groups if you're only using three, or if you need all five groups then you can have it on. But really, who is using five groups of lights at the same time? Not many of us. Some, but not many of us. All right. But anyhow, you put that on, and as soon as you make your adjustments, it happens on the flash. All right. Now, I will tell you, do not get this too close to the light. It's not going to do anything. All right. It's radio. It's not infrared. It needs a little bit of distance. I've seen guys on the YouTube doing videos of complaining about this flash because, oh no, it doesn't work half the time. 
It works every time. Just move it a little bit away from the light. All right. If it needs to be this close, then put it on here. All right. Or just put it directly on your camera. But no, this is on your camera. This is, you know, a couple of meters away from you. And boom, boom, boom. Flash, flash, flash. Oops, too close. See? Nothing, nothing, nothing. It is not a problem with the light. I've seen these people, oh, it has this one drawback. Who puts their camera this close to a light this powerful? All right? 360, um, you know, uh, megaseconds or mega light seconds, whatever you want to call it. I'm not into the technicalities. All right? But, you know, it is very, very strong. If you have this this close to your camera, you've got, you must be fighting some massive, massive light. And then you're going to have a problem if you're this close. So we'll start here. Nothing, 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 nothing. All right. We're about a foot away. All right. If your flash can't be a foot away from the controller, uh, there's no need for the controller. Mount the light to your camera or use a small sync cord. All right. And then you don't have to do anything. Just tell the camera what to do. All right. So the X1 receiver, it's about 325, 350 renminbi, depending on where you go. Um, I, will, I will post the American dollar values to the or conversion, but just divide by seven. All right. Because it's 6.8 to 6.95. We're also going to talk about some Sigma, some Nikon, and some, um, what other lenses is that? Oh, that's right. That's my Tamron. Tamron lenses that I've purchased recently. And um, then this light here that's keeping me, you know, separated from the wall is uh, a video light that I bought. At, uh, and I will talk to you about that. Very, very affordable. And, um, you know, Maybe, you know, other equipment that I'm using for my videos, the cameras I'm using, what I use them for, when will I choose my Sony, when will I use my Nikon. Video, I'm kind of uh, liking the Nikon. This is the first I've shown video with a Nikon. And I am using the Sigma 50mm f1.4 lens. And where you see it's some nice bokeh going on background, on the background. If, you know, I can actually, you know, get it even better. I'm currently shooting at uh, 1 200th of a second, 1 400 ISO 800. It is, you know, early in the morning here. It's uh, actually now 6.30 in Dalians, and the sun will be coming up very soon. Um, yeah, in the winter time, the sun comes up a little late in the summertime. That sun is peeping through your window at around 4.30 in the morning. Right? If you want to sleep in on your day off, the sun comes up at 4.30 in the morning. Hope you it's going to wake you up. All right. Again, thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe. Recommend this channel to your friends. Comment down below. Is that the end?